The summer rain is passing over And it feels like a dream Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Nikki underscore L. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love it if you did so. Today I wanted to bring you guys, you all, you girls, you guys, um, a tutorial and two quick easy recipes. I am so excited that is officially fall, officially. Uh, I know everyone's always in a rush and pumpkin spice comes out probably a little bit sooner than it should. But though that being said, I absolutely love the fall. Fall is my favorite season of all time. It's just most of the time the weather is great. I'm sorry you could hear the wind out there. It's pretty kind of loud um, and it's kind of funny because I'm wearing a sweater and it's probably like 90 degrees but it's still the winds like super loud outside anyways um i wanted to bring to you all two pumpkin spice recipes which i'm sure you probably are already almost sick of them and fall just began but that's, that's the point you know everyone loves it deep down um anyways um my two recipes are going to be low calorie and vegan so for all you vegans out there and all y'all trying to watch what you're eating me um, I'm trying to lose a serious amount of weight and most pumpkin spice things right now have so so many calories so all my my two different recipes one's for a drink and one is for a mug of cake are going to be less than 100 calories which is great um, so yeah anyways um, and I also went ahead and did this look this makeup look for you um, I just really liked the you know autumn fall colors jamming so yeah, if you want to see how I do this look and how I do my two recipes, then y'all go ahead and keep watching. First, I'm going to go ahead and apply a primer to my whole eye or just use concealer. Then I'm going to take a light off-white color and just go all over the brow bone. After that, I'm going to go ahead and go in with a very light color to transition and then a little bit deeper color of an orange to kind of make a half moon and blend that out. Keep blending until it's very, very smooth transition. And I'm gonna take a clean brush and blend it out again, cause I just love blending. Then I'm going to take this nice coppery orange color and place this on the outer half of my lid. Not the whole, but then I'm gonna blend in. Then I'm gonna take this color, it's a golden color, and I'm gonna take that on the inner half. And then patting with my finger, I'm going to blend those two together slowly. Then I'm going to take MAC Prep and Prime and I'm going to take this highlighter color and I'm just going to go over that gold again. Then I'm going to take my blender brush and just fix anything that kind of got misconstrued while we we're doing that. I'm going to take this dark brown color to add a little bit more depth. Just place it on the outer corner and blend and keep blending till you have a very fluid look. Again, taking a clean brush, I'm going to blend that out so that's not muddy. Then I'm going to take this shadow, it's actually a highlighter, and I'm going to pop it into the inner corner to add some more pizzazz. Then I'm going to go ahead and go back up with that brow bone color, and I'm going to add that. Then I'm going to add my mascara, and I'm going to add my false lashes. And they are Goddess, of course, by Ko Lashes. And then I'm all done with the eyes. Going to add some lip gloss, and here is our finished look. This does it happen twice You must be my once in a lifetime For the mug cake you're going to need flour, baking powder, sugar, pumpkin puree, almond braised almond milk, and some cinnamon and cocoa nibs or vegan chocolate chips if you'd like. All you're going to do for this is add all of your ingredients into a microwavable mug and then you are going to mix thoroughly till it's a nice creamy blended consistency. I use a whisk. And then after that is done, if you would like to add your vegan cocoa nibs, then you go ahead and place them on the top. Then I'm going to go ahead and microwave this for a minute and 15 seconds until it is thoroughly cooked. Once you have it out, you can add more cocoa nibs if you'd like, and I added with some vegan whipped cream. And there you have it. For this drink, you're going to need some almond braise, almond milk, you're going to need some canned pumpkin, you're going to need some maple syrup, 
and you're going to need some cinnamon. So on a stove top in a small saucepan, I'm going to place all my ingredients. Again, recipe is going to be located down below. And I'm just going to let it come to a, I mean, just let it heat up, not a full boil, but you know, and mix them all together. Once it's nice and mixed all together, we're going to take it off the heat and I'm going to funnel it into my cup. I went ahead again and finished it with some vegan whipped cream and there you have it. It's really good and tastes delicious. You must be my once in a lifetime. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Please comment, please rate, and please subscribe if you liked me. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye y'all.